put those thoughts. Kind of fitting the way it ended. I mean, all the years when it looked like they were going to win and it, for whatever reason, didn't happen, then when it looked like we were going to get embarrassed, we end up winning. A lot of these guys I, well, I haven't seen in 10 years, and um, it's story time, man. You sit around and tell stories. It seems like a long time ago. Um, a lot of talk about Wake. You know, obviously we all miss them and how much you love this, but uh, it's just going to be a great couple days. Actually, I want to play again because I need 400 hits for 3,000. <laughs> I think they need my bat. <laughs> it's going to be awesome, you know, coming back home, seeing the fans. And I want to come out out of left field. Ah, uh, that's just Manny being Manny. And this today, for the fans and for the players, there's going to be a lot of cheers. going to be a lot of cheers because today is going to be a memorable one. And Paula, guess what? I brought my batting gloves. I know what you're saying. Why'd you do that, Levin? Well, because just in case they need some help, which they don't, but if they do, I'm ready. And it's better to be ready than not to be ready. So guess what? I'm ready to go. Put me in, coach. You know, I'll sing this song to get out there, but I'm ready to go, Paula. Hey, you never know when they're going to need Outside you. Fenway Park. <laughs> You never know. You are Look, our go-to guy, Levin, so I'm, I'm sure good. the Red Sox know you're right out there, prepared. And hey, the sun is shining down on you also because it's your birthday. Happy birthday to Levin. You know what's funny? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The fights I've had with Mother Nature and opening day have paid off today. The universe is smiling upon you. Happy birthday, my friend. Thanks, Levin. We'll see you a little later. Thank Enjoy you. the game. Now the next weather, and it is per picture-perfect baseball weather. It is going to be